Welcome to economics. Starting a new year, 2022. This is the spring semester 2022 class. And I'm showing, I'm making the same video for both of my sections. One is Econ 202, microeconomics. And the other one is Econ 201, macroeconomics. And I'm needing to stress a few things. It's just amazing to me that people don't watch the videos. Of, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? Uh, uh, you're, you are watching the video. But uh, they don't watch the videos. They don't, uh, they don't pay attention to the announcements. And then they get themselves in trouble because they missed a bunch of assignments or they didn't know there was a test. So, Online classes take a level of self-control where you check on things. Every, every couple days you, you need to check in on Canvas and check what's happening, see if there's announcements. But the first thing you need to do is read the syllabus. The syllabus is my contract with you on how I will grade what I expect from you and basically, I will adhere to what I promised. And so this is a good thing to know. In case you've never been in college, you may not be familiar with the syllabus. But the syllabus lists out exactly how much each test is worth, how much different, different levels or types of homework are worth. And you need to read that syllabus. It's amazing how people are like, well, I didn't know, and it's the, the three-fourths of the way through class. I was like, it says so in the syllabus, and I put it in announcements, and I put it in this video right now. <laughs> Don't be that person, okay? So read the syllabus. Now, Canvas is your base. You're going to sign into Canvas to find your announcements. And I will, in the announcements, I will, I will have assignment sheets. So there's going to be an announcement saying, here's your assignment sheets. And it has all the, all the videos I want you to watch. Okay. So what I've done is I've made videos of my lectures going back several years. But uh, basically, just if I have a good video of a, of a lecture, I'm going to use it. And then you will watch that as if you're in the class watching me. But... The nice thing about online classes is there's no clock telling you you have to be in class at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday or something. Instead, 3 a.m., you can't sleep, get up and watch a video. Take good notes. If it's in the videos, it's something I think you need to know. Okay? If it's in, in the reading, you should know it. If it's in the homework, that's practice. Okay? So... Check in, check the announcements, read, read the announcements. There's stuff in there that will give you, that will tell you what, what items you can bring to exams. What, uh, what assignments we're doing now for the next test. And so you need those. That's, I, I'm not going to be in front of a classroom for you telling you, hey, don't forget next week we have this. So instead, I send an announcement that says, don't forget next week. So you've got to read that. That's part of the professor talking to you and telling you what's going on. Okay. Achieve and canvas homework. Um, excuse me, I'm going to get a glass of water. It's so good. Water can be so good. All right. Achieve. Achieve is homework that's graded by computer and gives you your score and gives you feedback on what the correct question answer should be to the questions. Since I went to these online homework suites, since I went to these apps, software suites, whatever they are, since I started having you do these, your grades have gone up. 
And I know that's because we have classes with 50 or more people in them sometimes. And if I have multiple classes, I'm doing homework. I'm, I'm doing grading of your homework. What if, the, what if we're, we're studying something just a few, something new just a few days before the test and you, you do some homework, but you really need feedback? I can't get it all back to you before the test. I just can't, not when I have a lot of students. So, so they get the, the, the Achieve is a Macmillan product. And uh, anyway, the dog is barking, as you can tell. The Achieve is a Macmillan product. Anyway, I'm sorry. I have one. I have three schnauzers. One of them thinks, thinks she's a police officer. Okay. Anyway, it uh, achieve gives you the online homework. You will get a free well free when you buy the textbook at the UTM textbook store. You will get a license that's been shrink wrapped in with. The cheapest version of a textbook I could get, I, it is basically loose leaf. So you will put it in a, a three ring binder. Um, and I did this because, um, although it's a very good textbook, it, I got the cheapest form. We have to have testing online. And uh, they have to hire someone to watch you take your test. And so because of that, there's a fee for the test, for the taking the tests. And so what I've done is I've managed to find a way where the cost of the testing and the textbook and the achieve homework is still cheaper than buying the hardback version of the text. So it's part of the instructional fees that you have. No, that's not right. It's part of the textbook and, and uh, extras that you pay for. You buy a textbook, you may have to get essay, essay things for certain class, essay books. Well, this is, this is how you take your test. So what we're going to do, you get the license fee when you buy the textbook. If you, if you try and buy the textbook somewhere else, you won't get the license fee for the discount I, I uh, negotiated. So I negotiated a cheap license fee for the Achieve and it, you've got to work through the UTM bookstore and they'll overnight the books to you. Don't wait. Don't wait a month and a half and say, well, I couldn't afford the textbook, so I'm, now I can. Now I want you to go back and open up all the homeworks for me, Dr. Sumner. No, I won't. You've got to buy that book, get started. That's what's going to happen, OK? So we've got our homework that we're going to be working. And if you're at Econ 202, there's a few extra homeworks for things that I didn't feel like Achieve gave. At, they didn't give homework questions that I thought were what you needed to know to pass the test. So I added a few homework things for practice to help you basically to supplement achieve. So in, in the micro class, you've got a few extra, and it's not many, assignments, basically to, to supplement what achieve is teaching you. Bored yet? It's almost over, OK? Proctor you, like I told you, you, uh, I have announcements explaining it better. Basically, um, if, we were, if we had an in-class situation, I would be staring at you while you take your test. And since I'm not going to be in your home or the library room that you reserved or wherever you take your test, I'm not going to be there. We have to have someone who will. And so they're very good at, uh, at uh, literally watching you take your test. And we pay them 
not a lot of money for the individuals that do this, but we do pay them, and there is a fee for that. I'm trying to think of anything else I need to be telling you. Just please pay attention. Self-motivate, because I, I'm not going to be there every day in class to say, hey, 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 why haven't I seen you in class? What's going on? You okay? I can't do that. Um, so I don't know if you're checking the announcements and then people end up with, you know, they, some of them, it's not everybody, but the ones that do end up being a train wreck in the, I mean, they are just a train wreck at the, at the end of the class. They haven't checked anything and they're like, please, please. And like, no, you've got to be adults. You've got to check on things. And uh, I expect you to. And uh, let me tell you this about this class. Economics can be hard for a lot of people and easy for a few people. Some people that get C's as an average, C's and D's, get an A in this class. And their friends are like, what happened? They're like, well, it's easy. It's just common sense. And then some other people are straight-A students, and um, this is the first C. And they, they worked their tail off. They worked hard, and they, and they had trouble. If you contact me, if you email me, I will work with you and be that tutor that you feel like you need. What I do is, wherever I am, I have a, I have a laptop open somewhere, and when it dings and says, you've got mail, I, uh, I, uh, I go and check and see if it's a student. And it doesn't mean there won't be times when you'll have to wait a few hours, you know, because I'm off somewhere at the grocery store or something. But if I'm awake, and it could be 3 in the morning, I'm a bit of a night owl, so I might surprise you and answer your questions. But I do want you to ask me questions that uh, are specific. Say, I don't understand question 32, and why, why is the answer this? And then I can explain it to you. Um, and the people who, who, who contact me occasionally, or, or a lot, uh, and say, I need help with this, they get better grades than the ones that just, they just, they don't ask. And they think they're on their own. You're not on your own. And I will get you through this. If you're working, and if you're not waiting until mid-semester to suddenly decide, oh my gosh, I haven't done any homework. I haven't read any, any books, and I'm not ready for the test tomorrow. I have set up this class so that Everybody can have a bad week, because that's normal. And the older you get, you'll realize that we all do that. We all have a bad week, a week where everything goes wrong, bad hair, fights with, fights with our boss, with our best friend, whatever. We're sick. And I will get you through a bad week. Um, I won't... I won't get you through a bad semester. If you uh, just, everything's going wrong, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you about an incomplete or something so that you can come back the next semester because sometimes you have a bad semester. And in that case, you know, I'll help you deal with that, but I can't help you with the grade. I can help you deal with it. But uh, if you have a bad week, um, the last several Achieve uh, homeworks are extra credit. If you miss one test, one test, your final exam can count for the final and for the, the first test or the second test, whichever one you miss. We have three tests, by the way. So, you know, maybe the bad week is test week. That's fine. You have a bad week, nothing goes well. It puts a lot of pressure on you later, but you can make up those points. You missed two tests, you failed the class. 
So I would not just blow off the first test thinking, well, I get a free pass on this one. Because what if you didn't, what if you're going to really need that one test that you can, uh, that you can miss because you're going to have a bad week two months from now and you don't know it. Um, so I wouldn't blow off the first one. I would save it. I'd save that, that, that uh, one that you get to make up, so to speak. And what else? Um, the homeworks uh, for the 202 class, for the micro class that has the extra homeworks, um, I let uh, I drop one or two of the lowest ones. So that allows for the bad week. So I, I will get you through. By the way, straight A students can get an A in this class. But I'm just saying don't count on it. Um, this is the class that some people find so difficult. And it doesn't matter if you take it from me. You could take it at another university in New Mexico or something. And it would still be something that is a challenge to a lot of people. So I'll be here. And you email me with questions and, and we'll, I'll get you through it. Um, but you have, to, you have to do your share and don't start late. And that's why I'm being so tough about it because I know what happens to people that start late. They can't catch up. It takes time. By the way, the way you study for this class, you, you need to um, do little, little study periods very often. So this is not a class where the night before the test, I'm going to cram, I'm going to get it all in, and then I'll go in. And the tests are things that ask you how things work. So it's not like in, in history class, you know, you have the cards, Battle of Hastings, and, you know, what year was that, and turn it over. You say 1066, and you turn it over, and, you know, yes, I was right, I'm ready for the test. No, you need to understand how things work, because I may ask you about the market for ramen noodles on a homework or on Achieve, but then on the test, it'll be the market for pizza. And I tell people, you've got to be able to recognize, it's the, it's the, uh, the blue jeans effect. If you see Dr. Sumner somewhere out in public, and I'm wearing an old t-shirt and blue jeans and some, and some tennis shoes, you've got to be able to recognize me even though I'm dressed differently than you've seen me before. And that's the way it is with economics. You've got to recognize economics when it applies to something, a different topic than what you used in class. Hope I'm not scaring you. Take care. Good luck in the class.